Buenos dias, Gunners Collective. Back at it. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Oh, I Look at the moves. Like a motherfucking smack addict, man. As you can tell by today's thumbnail, that one right there. Oh, no, he did it. Yes, indeedy, I did, man. We're going to talk about one of the newest and probably most violent SNY dropout gangs that's out there right now. Yes, indeed, man. In a menudo style of direct fashion, man, I got at a couple homeboys, man. I was like, what's going on in the penitentiary? What's going on in prison nowadays? You know, what's the news? What's the word, Mockingbird? What's the word on the curb, man, without swerving, sipping off some of that cherry-flavored bourbon? What's happening, right? And the homeboy said, man, there's a lot of shit going on, especially with them SNY yards. I said, are they still intermingling them? Are they still trying to put SNY guys with general population? He says, yes, that's still going on. It's kind of slowed down due to the COVID and all that shit that's going on right now. People are sicker than some fucking dogs from Fresno. But at the same time, in the meantime, in between time, administration is going to still do what they does because they does what they do. And that's just how it is. Um, but then he started elaborating on to new gangs that are out there, new dropout gangs, right? And there's several of them, Bottles, right? And uh, we all know about the traditional ones that have been around for a long time. Uh, the Green Lighters, the Two Fivers, um, the Riders, the fucking... New Flowers, you know, I would like to distinct the New Flowers away from that because I think the New Flowers started before SNYs, um, so I don't want to put that label on them, but we're talking about gangs that have derived from traditionally dropout gangs. Um, and there's several others, man, Brothers by Choice, Independent Riders, All Stars, the list can go on and on and on and on and on, right? They're making a new one every single day. A little gag where a group of motherfuckers get together, so it's okay, we're going to call us the Westside Mockingbirds. You know what I mean? Hey, we're going to call us the In the Jungles. Why? Because in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps. Do not orale. Well, check it out, man. You're lying because ain't no lions on this motherfucker. Ain't nothing but a whole bunch of lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my Charlie. Mm -mm. That ain't happening on the SOI, man. Just a whole bunch of motherfuckers trying to do their tiempo and whatever the case may be. Do your thing thing. Now, um, this new group that has sprung up out the ashes, they've been around for about five years, but they've been slept on. A lot of people don't know about them because a lot of people ain't over there in the SOI yards, right? But, um... They're called the Zapatistas. Now, this is a very dangerous group. Now, I'm going to tell you what separates them and differentiates them from the rest, right? Um, this group is like the Navy SEALs of the dropouts. <laughs> you know what I mean? These Vatos um, consider themselves the elite class, the elite stats, the status, right? Um, and what I mean by that is... First and foremost, from what I've heard, and this is secondhand information, man. I'm hearing this from people that are incarcerated. They're telling me, you know, the rules and regulations of what goes on with these Zapatistas. Um, these Vatos are an elite group that only take Vatos that are in for murder. These Vatos already are doing all day. They already got cases. They ain't going nowhere. So they're sitting down for the duration. Most of them are doing life without the possibility. And there are a couple youngsters, of course, that are doing 20 and 30 year bids, but decide that if for no other reason, they want to let their fucking light shine. And so let's get twinkle, twinkle, little star, S and Y, there you are. Bang, bang. You know what I mean? They're handling their business. Um, but they're getting deeper. They're starting to accumulate numbers from what I hear. Now, the makeup of this gang is north and south, meaning ex Norteños as well as ex Sureños or Southsiders. That are coming together, man, to join a clique. This is our clique, homes. We're gaining our respect. Or are they? I can't call it like an alcoholic. Like I said, I'm not there to tell you exactly what's going on. But there's been several incidences documented through CDC that these vatos have been involved in. Now, from what I hear, man, they were initially started by one individual from up north who was no longer with the gang, is no longer living. Um, word on the curb was he got took out because he was doing a little bit too much. And that's just the way it went. OK, now, at the end of the day, um, shit like that happens. People are not in agreement. They want to take a fucking gang or a group, a group segment, a different direction. They don't want to go where that fucking ship is sailing. So let's get on Charlie. Hey, check it out. Fucking Captain Hook. We ain't trying to go there. Peter Pan's over there. He's having it his way. We're trying to go over there. We're all the gold. Either way, however it works out, man, that's how it goes. But at the end of the day, when the day ends, OK, they're still considered a dropout gang. Okay, but a dangerous one at that. Now, we know these traditional dropout gangs, man, their adversaries primarily have been general population general population inmates, active inmates, um, people that they consider their enemies. And then, of course, there's some inner fighting going on. We've heard about the two fivers going at it with the independent riders or the two fivers and the, the northern riders going at it and, and beep it, boop, boop, boop. I can't call it like an alcoholic. I'm not there. But at the end of the day, man, whatever floats their boat, however they want to get it in the S&Y, that's their yada that they could have it. They can handle it their way. 
okay? But what I'm trying to express to you guys is there's a new kid on the block. Please don't go, girl. All right, to Joey McIntyre. There's a new kid on the block, man, and they ain't having it. These vatos are very treacherous, dangerous, and they call themselves Zapatistas. Now, anyone that doesn't understand what the word Zapatista mean, it was a soldado derived from Mexico. Okay, these were the elite, the brass, the top of the top, the ones that weren't playing no gangs. They were the Zapatistas from Emiliano Zapata. Okay, this was his group. This was his organization. These vatos derived that name from that meaning fucking raza soldados, right? Soldados de la raza. This is what they claim. This is what they portray. This is where their movement is going. Now, traditionally, just like any other dropout gang, man, um, the actives ain't tripping. Man, they're quick to slip in the clipping and get to spitting on these fools if they want to act like they want to act funny, right? They're not really tripping. Okay, but administration is because these guys are posing a threat. See, these guys are just a little bit different than others. And when the wind starts blowing, these motherfucking pedazos start flying on these SY yards. Now, anyone that doesn't understand, um, when you have no rhyme or reason, when you have no hierarchy, when you have um, no one to tell you what to do, and there's no politics or rules and regulations out there on the yard, it becomes the wild, wild west. Or the Kumodi. The wild, wild west, west, west. Yes, it does. And motherfuckers will do and get off however they want to do it when they want to do it that particular day. And there's nothing you or me or anybody else can do about it. You know, if the motherfucker wakes up in a bad mood and the fuck he got the runs, he got chorro, and he's feeling real bad that day and just wants to go out with the pedazo and handle his business on the yard, you or me can't stop him. There's no one that can stop him. Okay? And so what this group is doing, this dropout gang, is they're, they're gathering all these individuals who they feel are top of the class, elite. Now you ask yourself. And I ask myself the same question. How can you be of elite status if you're on an SOI yard? That means, obviously, you had to fall out of favor with your initial gang if you were involved in that. Um, you had to have a drug debt. You fell out of favor. You debriefed. You dropped out. You did whatever you did because at the end of the day, man, you got on from that cause. Now, now I'm not going to say um, that you're all bad, you're basura, you're trash, or none of that. You know, I'm not, gonna, I'm not the man to dictate that. You know what I mean? I got my own shit to worry about. I'm not going to sit here and say that, uh, but I'm going to say you find yourself on this frivolous yard. And of course, not everyone's going to go function with these weirdos that are there. Now, these weirdos are there and they're going to get they're always going to have that stigma on an SMY yard because there's weirdos roaming. You know, but like I said, in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the weirdos sleep at night. You know, what I mean, that's up to those individuals that are there programming to do something and get off where they're mad at. If they choose to program or function alongside of those individuals. Well, such, I can't call it like an alcoholic, man. Fill me up with some and let it. Bang, bang. I need a dub one time for my mind. That's it. Um, but from what I've been hearing is this group, the Zapatistas, are not allowing these weirdos to walk the yard. They're checking paperwork. If they find out that a vato's in there on a weird case, man, they're moving on them. They're removing them. They're basically trying to flip these SNY yards to a general population style type yard. And it's got a lot of the inmates and a lot of people that are just there trying to get by and get on out the mix. Uh, nervous. The Vatos are fearing for their fucking safety and security because, man, a lot of these guys, you know, you you hear about all these SMY gangs and all these groups, man, and you automatically think, oh, man, that's just a fucking trash yard. They ain't doing nothing. But these fools are over there bodying people. They're going body for body, but 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 mozzie shit, man. They're going body for body. There's flights getting took out of there. You know, from what I'm hearing, man, some of those fucking yards are more de deadly and dangerous than the general population yards. You got to understand these general population yards are very structured. People are handling their business and doing it according as such as they should, right? They're waiting for dictations. There's a long line and a list of things you have to check off. You have to cross all your T's and dot your I's and do what you do to make it happen, okay? And at the end of the day, these bottles are very respected and about their business, but these fools on the S and Y yard are something totally different. See, there's nothing that hinders them from doing what they want to do. So they're going out there making moves in, in shower shoes, you know what I mean? Uh, power moves, I can't call it, but I'm saying they're making moves. They're doing their thing. Um, and this group Zapatistas is standing out above the rest. Now, of course, you're going to have Vatos that are rioters or two fivers or whatever, man, all these different groups. And they had their reasonings for joining and the reasonings why it was established. OK, and I'm not going to sit here and neither disrespect nor elevate and give these motherfuckers love, because at the end of the day, my name's Bennett. I'm not in it. I have nothing to do with any of that. Um, but at the end of the day, when the day ends, when the day has come to that fucking end, the gun sees it for what it is, man. You know, I'm not of the understanding of going from one group to the next. Never been in that boat, irregardless of what people may think. It's not my stilo. Um, but it happens time and time again. People feel slighted. They feel played. They feel jaded. They feel like they didn't get theirs. 
They feel like, and a lot of these guys that are joining these SOI or joining these groups have never even hit general population, man. They come right off the banana boat. Orale, Tony, straight off the bus, man, straight into SOI yards. Um, how they get there, I can't call it, but they get there and then they decided for no other reason, man, because of their camaradas or their homeboys or whoever they're kicking it with on the yard are, are part of this particular group. They decide to join up. Now, the one that, the, the one thing that separates the Zapatistas from these other groups is blood in, homie, blood out. You have to have a body to even consider being joined into this fucking group, okay? And the only way out is through death, okay? Now, that sounds like round and round. Order to Tim and Campbell. Round and round, man, it seems like it goes. It seems like a repeat cycle, okay? And I don't understand the situation, man. If you're going to go there and implement these rules that are already established on these general population yards, um, I don't understand it. Why do it, you know? Um, if you were already doing all day, you already had bodies, you were never getting out, homes. why not function under the guidance of some real motherfuckers that have been founded this shit for a long time? Mm. But I don't know, like I said, these guys could have found themselves in bad situations where they got moved on uh, righteously or unrighteously, and whatever happens, happens. This is where they find themselves at, this is where they're laying their heads, and this is the program they're functioning to, and the beat goes on like the whispers. The beat will go on, okay? Like I said... These different fucking SNY groups are springing up every single day. Okay, they are on the 50-50 yards. They're on the general population yards. On the unders. Way on the unders. Oh, yeah. Oh, you better you better ask somebody. Um, but they're everywhere. They're actually getting to the point where you have the Nueva Flor, the New Flowers, one of the oldest first uh, dropout groups. And they don't consider themselves dropouts. They consider themselves actives. Um, I've spoken to a couple of authors. I actually know a couple personally. And I don't want to disrespect their group segment by saying that they're DOs or whatever the case may be. But I will say that they actually have their own yardas. You know, they're split yards, man. Level fours, level threes. They have their own yards established. You know, from last I heard, they were functioning real tight in certain prisons with the Pedros. Now, I can't call that one. I haven't heard it from a Pedros. He hasn't barked my way. Arr, right? And told me. But I heard from a Nueva Flor that they had a real tight fucking bond with some Pedros from Fresno. Okay, whether that's true or not, I'm not of the understanding and I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. So again, hit me with the comment one time for your mind if you've been down that road and you can let me know. Follow the yellow brick road. You'll find me. I'm the one behind the fucking curtain trying to maneuver and shit. All right, then. Only on some real shit. Bang, bang. But this is how it is. Okay, this is how it is. Excuse uh, the sounds in the background. Fucking my neighbor is cleaning their windows. Bang, bang. Right? They're spraying their shit down. Um, but anyways, trip. So... Uh, when this was brought to my attention about the Zapatistas, the first thing I thought is like, ah, oh, brother, like Hulk Hogan, right? Another one, another group. Not that it affects me in the slightest, man. I'm out here a citizen of life doing my own thing, man, getting my wiggle on, looking flat while I'm doing it. This is how the gun wiggles and how I maneuver, menudo style. Um, but I had to take a step back and listen to the ramifications of what's going on to certain individuals in there because of this group. This group is dangerous, man. They are the newest group in California making moves. Okay, they're really doing it. You know, from what I hear, man, they got the mess and why shook. They got them vatos. Hey, can I go to PC? Wait up, you already are in PC. Am I? Spence on the Right. They didn't even know where they were at. Uh, they're trying to Where can I go? Where can I go? You know what I mean? Uh, to your fucking cell. So I was but there's the vatos over here with pedazos. Oh, my. Right. Oh, boy. You got to get your issue. You know what I mean? Uh, one way or the other. Either pick one up or get picked up by one. It doesn't matter, man. At the end of the day, man, they're going to handle their business. Um, but this group is a dangerous group. And they're doing their thing. You know, um, and like I said, they were started and founded five years ago. And from what I heard from a certain individual, man, they start, they were started by ex Norteños and ex Norteños, but they're actually taking in others, meaning other group segment, uh, uh, dropouts like blacks, whites, uh, very minimal, very minimal. You ain't going to see an Africano from Oakland talking about, Hey, hey where you from homie seminary, the corns, China, I'm from Zapatistas. What? Spence on Latino, right? They're not going to do all that, but you never know. You know, there's bottles that choose to hang with who they want to hang with because they have the freedom and liberties to do that now. You know, once you go on to those S&Y yards, you can do whatever the fuck you want. You know, just don't be a cheat. Ooh, that's some weird shit. But they can do whatever they want, man. There's no one to guide them uh, the right or wrong way. You know, they're doing their own thing. Now, of course, there's a lot of dropouts and people that are just trying to get out and go back to their families and do the right thing. They fell off for one reason or another, man. And that's fine and dandy, and that's cool. And that's actually the majority. See, people get the misconception that these SNY gangs uh, make up these whole yards and they fucking control. And Charlie, it's nothing like that. They probably control 30% of the yard where the other 70% are just fucking regular cats just trying to get on and get out. Get up, out, get out and get something. And that's usually what it is. Um, 
But for the most part, man, you know, when you have these fucking gangs, they're all in it for the old traditional to steal fucking people's cantina, to extort people, to come up, you know, just to cause ruckus and havoc because they're bored. So I'm bored. I'm going to think they like to watch out. Why, bro? I'm, I'm fucking bored, man. So I can do what I want. I made this money. You did it, right, kid? All right, you ain't Bobby Brown on me, but I'm about to get fucking sized. So you're going to see the, the blood's going to coagulate. It's going to be all brown. Bobby Brown. Bang, bang. You know what I mean? Don't give me no bammer weed. We don't smoke that shit in the SSC. All right, RBL. All right, now, these vatos can do what they want because um, no one's there to tell them anything. Okay, but administration sees this and you know what they're starting to do, man, is they're starting to look and classify these certain groups as high priority targets. It's only a matter of time before they shut down shop. There's cops and there's robbers and the cops usually out duel the robbers at the end of the day. It's just what it is, man. They're a little bit more advanced uh, in technology. They're a little bit more advanced with their inquisitive skills and they're more a little bit more advanced in fucking controlling the AR because they have a quite right? So that's what it is. Um, so it's only a matter of time before they hit people's radar. Like I said, man, I had heard nothing about this group. Um, I haven't been on them yards. I haven't been fucking in prison for a minute. So I was really not paying attention to what's going on on the S&Y or the dropout side, you know? Like I said, I got my own shit going on. Um, but when this group was brought up, it piqued my interest because the homies said, man, damn, they're fucking dangerous, bro. These vultures are sticking everyone. In fact, they're actually warring right now as we speak with the two fibers, which is an older traditional dropout gang, and the all-stars, which is a gang derived of a whole bunch of different... Uh, um, I, I can't call it, man. Blech. You know what I mean? Trash, I guess, right? But anyway, so this group is actually taking these fools out. They're bodying these guys. See, there's a difference, just like with our United States Army, man. You got our Army guys that they're, they're with the business. They're properly trained. They're going to go handle it. Then you got the elite Navy SEALs and the Marines, right? The SEAL Team 6. These motherfuckers that go in, homes and they say, And that's what this group considers themselves. SEAL Team 6 of SNY. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know... Uh, uh, if that makes any sense, but at the end of the day, man, it makes perfect sense to me. You get a group that gets together, a group of, uh, of gentlemen, man, that decide that they're fucking going to go in against the grain and they're going to fucking have their own. You know, and that's traditionally how gangs get established and started. You know, uh, when it's on the calles, it's a barrio, it's a block, man. The people that move on your block have grown up there, lived there, man. You're automatically from that barrio. To be from the gang and get jumped in, now that's a whole different animal, man. And everyone has their own righteous ways to do that, you know. You know, some bottles, they fucking, they get in by the sa sa sa. you know, take one by the homies, and that means you'll take one for the homies. Some, they have to do that so clap action, you know what I mean? Some, they just have to go still, so it's okay, I got a payday. And some fucking, they get, yeah, 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 in. And that's not my group, right? But I'm just saying that this is how it is. Um, but in prison, it's a little bit different. You know, you have to show um, charisma, you have to show smarts, you have to show the tenacity and the voraciousness to go out there and have, voracious, not even a word. To go handle your business, man. This is just how it is. And this group, I guess, consider themselves the elite of the SNY. Like I said, man, um, the sensitive knee yards are exactly what they what they're what it says. Bottles have sensitive needs over there. Whether it be fucking uh uh, you know, they just want to get out and do their time, man, and they and the administration knows that they put them back on these main lines, it's gonna be a wreck, you know. I'm not saying everyone over there is trash, man. I'm saying there are some trash over there though. You know, and you consider, hey, if you're functioning with them, then you are who you flock with. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of authors, I'm sure, that are staying away from that shit. They're just doing their own thing, man, trying to get back home to their families. I ain't trying to knock them, man. That's their thing. Um, but the ones that are trying to start these group segments and start these gangs and prey on individuals and all that. So if you just put a little group together, man, you're going out there handling fucking weirdos. Bang, bang. So you got my vote, right? Um, but if you're going in there just trying to fucking uh, manhandle youngsters, man, that ain't never been around instead of bringing them up to par and basically lacing them, they're already in a wreck, homes. They already don't went to the wrong side. Um, give them some clecha, you know what I mean? But see, these vultures ain't about giving clecha, homes. They're about Bangladesh shit. They're about hitting that fuckers with a banger and taking all their fucking sopas, period. So I like sopas too. And that's just what they're about. Anyways, the Zapatista, man, they're the newest dropout gang. And they've been around for five years, but they're the newest one on the scene that's actually making noise. You know, and from what I hear, man, they don't give a fuck about anyone. There's no alliances. They're not kicking it with anyone. They're against the grain. They're against anyone, man. And it's blood in, blood out. And they really mean that shit, man. These motherfuckers have nothing to lose. Um, are they on the radar of the administration? Yes, they are, man. From what I heard, they're considering them a security threat group of the highest nature because these bottles are out there bodying people. You know, because I talked to a homeboy. Yes, I talked to a homeboy that's actually on SNY, man. And he's just doing his own tempo. He's a fucking legit dropout. Just dropped out, man. Trying to live his life and get out. He's a lifer, man. He's hoping that maybe that could help him to catch a date. So he can get out and have Burger King and have it his way. 
Um, and he told me, man, that group's fucking dangerous, bro. They're out there wiggling, doing their shit. And I said, yeah, you know, just stay away from them, bro. He said, oh, I'm far away from them motherfuckers, bro. He says, I got me something nice if they act stupid, though. Um, and that's what it is, man. So anyways, at the end of the day, whether this um, this story means anything to you probably doesn't because you're not going to find yourself on the SMY yard or you might. You know, um, it's just a, a little informational, a little fucking glitch uh, into what's going on right now in the California Department of Corrections on them SMY yards, man. Them DOs are fucking everywhere. They're taking over um, as far as fucking um, them, them yards. And, and that's just what it'd be like. Anyways, man, I hope that you move fast with a purpose. I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, it's all about that positive push going out there, man, and doing what's righteous for your family. And don't worry about these war stories that I'm telling you about, man, because hopefully you're never put in that position to go through that, you know? But if you are, man, I'm just trying to give you the game so you're fully prepared to do what you have to do when you get there. Anyways, man, hit that like and subscribe if you like this. If you don't, man, you can hit that thumbs down. Heavy as the head that wears the crown, man. Thank you for all my subscribers. The subscriber game is going way up, man. I highly appreciate everyone that's involved with making this happen. You already know what it is. The gun. Bang, bang. Menudo. For those of you that don't know what it means, watch my old videos.